Time for G-Funk Trend. Here's your host, G-Funk, Jerry Garvin. Hit it. What's up? It takes two to make it. Little Rob Bass, DJ Easy Rock. What's going on? Um, G Funk Jerry G's Rants. Oh, oh, that was my closing one. Anyways, uh, episode two. Oh, season two, episode 26. <sighs> Doing a little different today because I got, um, I'm using my different uh, device because uh, my phone's still not working right and I still can't seem to get the right camera angle, so I'm going to be like this today. Um, a lot of stuff, I uh, got a lot of emails from you guys, everything's going well. Um, my big, big rant today is going to be about the New York Knicks and hiring Jeff Hornacek as the coach. <sighs> not good. Not good for a couple reasons. One, Jeff Hornacek has had a shitty NBA coaching career. Number two, he was always known as the backup to John Stockton. And uh, he was definitely, I think, uh, underutilized when he played because he was he was definitely good. And he was uh, the white man's white man, if you want to put it that way, in basketball. But uh, he was still very good uh, as a player, as a backup to John Stockton. Um, and, uh, you know, he played alongside of him as well when he moved to shooting guard. But I, as his basketball knowledge is concerned, uh, he's okay. But as Phil Jackson hiring him, it's time to be the puppet master. Do, 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 do. Another fucking puppet. I'll tell you right now, the Knicks aren't going to win shit until the day I fucking die. You want to know why? Because they're not hiring anybody. Phil, they don't hire anyone that's going to make sense for this team. And Phil Jackson, first of all, needs to go. He needs to go. His time's up. Bye bye Kick him to the curb. Get someone else in here as the GM. Because this is just going to go on. We're going to still have the same shitty team unless he knows something that Jeff Morris can get some great free agent star to come to the Knicks. The Knicks are still going to suck balls. Period. They're going to suck. Uh, I'm just... Like I said, the Yankees are playing freaking average at best. The Giants, the Giants, I'm looking forward to the Giants season because they did a lot of good changes. The draft went well for them. Um, but overall, I, I just think my teams have just been so, like, there's nothing to root for. And uh, being, you know, granted I'm not a Met fan or a Jet fan, and Mets are doing pretty good. And the Jets, you know, are the Jets, and the Nets suck, and... You know, the Rangers are out of the playoffs, the Islanders are out of the playoffs, and it's pretty much New York sports have been on a big decline. Um, so, uh, you know, it's just, I, I just really, really hate to see New York sports falter because it's such a big part of, you know, the New York lore and the legacy, and, you know, New York sports has always been, you know, the backbone to the city and through fans and, and, and everybody else. But, uh, like I said, Jeff Warnersek, bad, bad, bad decision. Uh, I I just think they could have found somebody else. The might as well just had fucking signed Kurt had Kurt Rambis come back because it's pretty much gonna be the same thing. He's just gonna be a puppet to fucking Phil Jackson. Do oh oh you want this Phil? Okay, <laughs> that's it. They're fucking done. Got some emails for you guys. Um, Deepak Deepak has got an unbelievable honor um, to come to New York to New York NY University and uh, for one of some degree he he uh, recently. Uh, got approved for in engineering, and he gets to go there. Um, he wanted me to post this to anybody who's listening in the New York New York City area, pretty much. Anyone willing to provide limited transportation to from New York airports, as well as housing within close proximity to NYU from June 5th to June 9th. Um, please email Deep, Deepak at Deepak Patel 1992 at Outlook.com. I hope someone helps him because he's a good guy. He deserves it. Let him check out your city. He also asked, you recommend while I'm in the city what to check out. Dude, Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building, the uh, Museum of Natural History. Check out a Yankee game or a, or a Met game. Um, 
anything. New York has tons of stuff to do. You find a brochure in one of the you know many uh, outlets in New York, and uh, it'll tell. There's tons besides restaurants and Broadway shows. There's tons of stuff to do in New York City. But uh, like I said, I don't know how much time you're gonna have. But you know, good luck. My man Hugh Janis, Kentucky Connection is back. What's up, Pop? Shout out to you and your dad. Um, he asked me a couple questions. He says you haven't been on in a while. I'd like to uh, give you some more questions. Um, Hillary or Donald Trump? I don't like either, but um, when it comes to voting time, I, I'm looking towards more towards Donald Trump. Um, I just don't like Hillary. I, I don't for several reasons. Um, it, it's just she could have prevented a lot of stuff and didn't say anything about it. So to me, she's a lying piece of shit. So I'm not voting for her. Donald Trump's not really that good either, but he, he's definitely better off than us having Hillary. That's for sure. He says, who do you like better, the Beatles or the Rolling Stones? See, my dad was a huge Beatles fan, so I grew up listening to a lot of Beatles. So I'm going to have to go with the Beatles. I listen to the Rolling Stones too, but the Beatles are definitely probably more... Uh, I like more than the Rolling Stones. Angelina Jolie or Jennifer Aniston? Both. But if I had to choose one to marry and one to just, like, you know, have fun with, I would definitely marry Jennifer Aniston and fool around with Angelina Jolie. Uh, here's another story... He said, ask, about a, uh, ask me to tell a story about the time starting. One time I was so drunk. One time I was so drunk that I bowled uh, like a 240 game. And half the time I wasn't even using my own bowling ball. I was just gra grabbing random bowling balls, throwing them down the lane, getting the strikes, doing the Al Bundy going, strike. And I was just in the bowling drunken zone. And my friends couldn't believe it. I am a decent bowler. I, I've been in many leagues, but um, just uh, that was kind of crazy. Um, my work schedules, I work, uh, my hours pretty much 12 to 8, 8.30, 9, depending. Um, most annoying thing about marriage. Uh, well, when you're the husband, never being right. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much the most annoying thing, because no matter what, you don't, you're never right. No matter what. Um... I got some more emails here from Shep One Ball Ginsburg. What's up, buddy? Shout out to you. So, would you like? Would you? Who would you rather punch in the face, Geraldo Rivera or Al Sharpton? Both, but preferably Al first. <laughs> um, see, would, if you think if anyone found an autograph of Jesus, would it be worth anything? Would it be worth anything? Holy Christ! If anyone found an autograph, anything of Jesus, that would be worth. Uh, I have no idea. The amounts of money would be absurd let alone uh, catastrophic. Midgets. Do you find midgets cool or annoying? Some midgets are cool, and some are annoying. I, I, know, I know a couple, but most of them are pretty cool. Um, do you think, he said, NASA will ever just develop a way for humans to walk on the sun? No, it'll never happen. The sun gets way too hot. Well, you'll melt. You'll die. If there's no way, unless, like, if, it would be impossible. There's no way you can walk on the sun. No matter what they put you in, uh, uh, there's no way you'll be able to walk on the sun. You think I think my turtle's gay? How do you determine this? I'm like, I, I don't know. How, why do you think your turtle's gay? Is he humping other male turtles? I, I, I have no idea, dude. And um, he says he has a new girlfriend. He's like, uh, he likes she likes playing with his one testicle. Do you think that is weird or just go with it, dude? If it's leading to sex, just go with it, dude. Don't. Hey, man. Some girls are freaky like that. If she wants to play with your testicle and get turned on by it, as long as it leads to sex, then there shouldn't be any problem with it. Um, Mubb's man is out of commission, but his buddy, Bobby Turkey, what's up, Bobby? Um, his neighbor wants to know, who is your favorite NASCAR driver? Um, not really a big NASCAR fan, but I'd say Jeff Gordon. Or, um, oh, what's the other guy's name? I forgot the other guy. But Jeff Gordon, probably. There's another, a couple other guys that, like I said, I don't really watch NASCAR, but he's probably one of my favorite ones. Uh, otherwise, that's about it, folks. Um, I'm going to be doing Sunday my uh, preview of um, Extreme Rules and my predictions who's going to win the matches. It's been going pretty good in the new place. Uh, as you can see behind me, we're just still unpacking stuff and got to hang up some stuff here and there. But otherwise, the new place is going well. And um, that's about it. So, any more comments, questions, whatever, G Funk Jerry G's Rants at Facebook, on Twitter at Jerry Garvin1, and keep the emails, comments, and suggestions coming. Jerry G Man, 2376 at yahoo.com. 
I'm gonna bust and move out of here. I just gotta hit the first verse. Ready? This here's a jam for all the fellas Driving what those ladies tell us It's a shotgun who's overzealous Play hard to get females get jealous Gotta go! See you when I see you!